Welcome to the fourth and last video of this little mini series on how to destroy this hospital. If you don't know what's going on right now, this is the fourth video. In the first video I showed you how to add this layer of smoke on the hospital roof. In the second video I showed you how to rip this side of the hospital open and really destroy the building. In the third video I showed you how to set this window on fire with the help of some after effects. And in this video I'm going to show you how to put this digital fake graffiti on these walls. Yep, that was not real graffiti, it was fake. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go. If you haven't watched the other three videos and want to know how to get to this, be sure to watch them first by clicking the link up here, taking a look down in the description or wait until the end card. If you just want to know how to get some digital graffiti in your scene, stick around because we're going to do that right now. Okay, so we are going to make some real graffiti, but not on a wall. No, you're going to need some spray paint with the color of your choice, a big sheet of paper, maybe some gloves and a face mask for protection. For my graffitis, I got former graffiti artist and hip hopper slash rapper Scam1 to do them for me. Time for a sick edit. I think I'm playing chess, I see a king, I'm at his neck I'm three steps ahead of every move, now that's a check Yes, they wanna know my secret, it's because I never slept All my nightmares of me at 40, life's a wreck See my dad, he in debt, and my mom, she upset That's way back when 408 on Seminole was the address I saw things I shouldn't have, though I love the fam to death Way back then it was a mess, we was living check to check Okay, so after the masterpieces were done, I took a photo of every piece of paper from a straight 90 degree angle looking down at the graffitis. The motives we did were the tags Scam1 and Scam, the popular Fuck Nazis without the vowels, a crown, and we just sprayed some red paint on these ones because it looked like some blood, and also a combination of them. If you want to download these graffitis or the blood splatter, there's a link to a free download of all these images in my self I store down in the description. Then we take these images and load them into Lightroom. First I cropped every image so that you can can't see the surroundings but just the white paper in the background. This makes it really easy to key it out later in After Effects. I did this to all the images, then started adjusting the basic settings of the first image. I set the highlights to plus 100, the shadows to plus 100, the whites to plus 100 to create a perfect keyable white in the background and then I set the blacks to minus 100 to really bring out the black paint and separate it from the background even more. Then I copied these settings and pasted them onto all the other pictures as well. Now moving into After Effects, I first loaded all of the images Images I intended to use and then made all of them except for this one invisible just for now of course. Then I scaled it down and used a luma key on it. You could of course put it in the blending mode multiply because of the white background but I decided on using the luma key effect because I have more controls over the key and I can use some feathering to blend it better. I set the luma key from key out darker to key out lighter, the threshold to 133 and the feathering to about 48. Then I put the lumetri color effect on it and brought the exposure down to minus 1.9 and the contrast up to 40 to make the colors blend in better with the scene. And now you can get very creative with the placement of your graffiti. This is of course very different for every scene, but I placed the scam one, the fuck Nazis and the crown on these walls facing the camera. One tip is to turn them slightly up or downwards to make them really random just like they are in real life. As a post-apocalyptic world I'm doing, everything should look all messed up. If you want to place them on a wall that's not facing the camera in a 90 degree angle, just enable 3D for the composition and also the layer itself. If you can't find the option to to turn a layer into 3D, there is a switch down here which lets you switch between blending modes and the option where you can turn a layer 3D. Then you can also adjust the X, Y and Z axis and really glue it on every wall you want. Also I slightly adjusted the lumetri color effect for every graffiti depending on where they were placed in the scene and how the lighting situation was there. For this one I even used a small Gaussian blur. Also one thing to remember is these are now placed on top of everything that's happening in the scene. So if something goes over them, like in my example I walked in front of some graffitis, you need to manually mask the thing going in front of them out. I got really lucky in my example and got away with duplicating my layer and then I again put a luma key on it to key myself out in front of that wall because the wall was white and me in front of the wall was dark so I could just use the key to mask myself out and walk in front of the graffiti realistically. You do that for every graffiti you're walking in front of and then that's it. That's how you put some fake digital graffiti in your scene. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to leave a like and also consider subscribing for more filmmaking content just like this one if you haven't already of course and also be sure to turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of these future videos 
Also, this was the last video of this little mini series where I showed you how to destroy this scenery. Here you can find the first video where I showed you how to set some smoke on the roof of the hospital. Here you can find the second video where I showed you how to destroy the wall of the building. Here you can find the last video where I showed you how to set the window on fire. And here you can find the final short film virus. And since there is no more space left to link anything else, you can find the playlist with all of these videos down in the description. That's it from this video. Until next time, goodbye.